Right, good morning, YouTube. We're back here with Burrito in the bathroom. She's here uh, hanging out. I'm about to trim her stitches from when she got spayed, the little fishing line thing, just kind of trim the little knot off and then pull it out so that she can completely heal. Then after that, I'm gonna dab some of some hydrogen peroxide to kill the bacteria, and then we're gonna give her a bath. Burrito's comfortable. She's like getting a little comfortable, and then we're just gonna flip her on her back there. She likes to bite me. She thinks we're playing. That's pretty much all the way out. We're gonna, ooh, bam, there you go. There goes one, pull that little. See, I'm pulling it. Ooh, dang. You're almost done, okay? We're just gonna hold her up like this. See that? Oh, dang. And there it goes, and she's all the way out. Put some hydrogen peroxide in her, but I'm gonna undo that. Dab that in there, tilt it up to the side. Ooh, it's foaming up a bit because it's probably infected. She's got some kind of bacteria buildup. All she needs now is just a little bit of a haircut, a little trimmage. I'll give her a bath and, and she'll be good to go. Um, so, speaking of the haircut, I just bought this new product. It's called the Box Cut. <laughs> Apparently, this is supposed to be the easiest way to give your pet a haircut. All you do is put the pet in the box, close the lid, wait 30 seconds, say the magic word, and kabam. Hopefully Burrito will be trimmed nicely. So um, I'm gonna need Burrito, let me show you. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is put the cat in the box. She's totally comfortable in there. She loves boxes. And then you wanna close the lid. You just kinda wanna rub the box at the top a little. And then you wanna say the magic word, Mexican pizza. Remove the lid. Green. Burrito's got a kind of a crazy punk rockish haircut. She's got this bohawk, bohawk thing going on. Come here, Burrito. Normally I give her a bath and then I wrap her in her towel and she doesn't like any loud noise like a hair dryer or a vacuum. <laughs> So I just put her in front of a heater and she's totally happy and within like 10 minutes or so, she's dry and ready to go. Take that off. You can tell she's scared. Just a little scared, but she re you remember this, don't you, Burrito? Well, when she was really tiny, she couldn't even jump out of the tub, but as she got a little bit older and bigger, she now wants to jump out. She's just kind of like, I hate this, but I'm, I'm just kind of pulling through it. Okay, now let me tilt your head back. Cool. I should probably consider buying some cat soap for her, but I use herbal essence on her and she smells really nice afterwards, but she's an indoor cat, so I hope she doesn't, she doesn't seem to have any kind of like ticks or anything, but anyway, that's besides the point. Just kind of give her a bath at least once a month because she steps on her pee and stuff. Steps on her poop sometimes even. She doesn't like the bath, but she's a trooper. She she put she puts through it, huh, burrito? You're awesome. You're an awesome cat. You're gonna get cool treats after this. No, no. She's like, get me out of this thing. No, no, no. Stay. Oops, sorry, burrito. I gotta get the soap under your neck. Okay, she's ready to go. I'm gonna squeeze all the water out of her. See how funny she looks when I squeeze the water out of her? So that's how we do it. Good girl, burrito. You're a good girl today. Squeeze all this water out of you. Hopefully I got all this soap out of there. If I don't squeeze all this water out of her, she's just gonna take a lot longer to dry. Okay, so now we'll just wrap her up in a towel. 
If you like this video, thumbs up. And if you have any comments about burrito or your own cat and the shower or any part of the process, uh, let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, she likes it. Girl burrito. Good girl. Pretty cool. Just stay in there.